Hello there people, good morning from Dhaka Bangladesh, 2 a.m. here right now in Dhaka and I'm going to be doing another list for you. Uh, it's getting kind of boring for many of you, I understand, but I actually did not purchase so many fragrances in the last few days. So this month even I think I'll try to hold myself back a little bit. So I'll try to like shuffle, reshuffle my list, you know, once in a while, try to think of something new. So this particular episode is going to be only one video I'm going to do tonight. So I can focus wholeheartedly on this video, top 15 salty fragrances you can it sounds a little bit wrong salty fragrances let's say salty aquatic or salty slash uh, ozonic fresh i'll think of something so i have 15 fragrances here with some honorable mentions and as you guys know salt you know one of the must-haves in our cooking and everything so you need salt but salt can be a source from the sea it can be caram caramelized salt it can be a lot of things you know so i'll show you 15 fragrances plus some more which i really feel there's a salty accord in there and obviously i'm gonna forget some i do apologize uh i do not have everything second thing third thing is that you know perhaps my ranking you will not agree there are many other alternatives out there that you love more full respect more power to you but uh you know just for fun you know you can try out so basically i get the feel of mostly freshness from these perfumes some of them are uh surprising entries okay and i just to complement that i'm also going with uh, one of our local drinks here called fresh mojito it's a company fresh makes water they also make this drink it's new drink it's very nice make it chilled and drink it it's very nice for hot and hot summer like hot and humid summer so basically did i forget anything else uh I think that's about it so let me show you three honorable mentions and name three that i don't have but i reviewed check them out first honorable mention i'm going to show you is invictus aqua 2016 version i think yeah this is discontinued long back and hard to find and i do have one uh, flanker of that in the line in this 15 but this is something i would definitely look at sweet uh, something smells like hawas fresh sweet uh, fresh and also kind of like beast more okay invictus aqua that's my first honorable mention second honorable mention i'm going to show you i like this fragrance now but i was not a big fan of this but one of the flankers of this made the list this is dolce and gabbana light blue puro uh, by for men okay so this fragrance basically it's like one of the classics like aqua di gio ck1 this one versace purum they all isimiyake ludese they started the whole cool water they all started the trend of fresh watery aquatic so this is definitely uh, really salty very peppery long lasting check out my review a lot of florals in there as well but uh, this is my honorable mention today uh, third honorable mention this is a fragrance i wish i had full bottle of but thanks to my dear brother shafi bhai <clears throat> uh, owner of uh, page the decant house i purchased this from him this is nishane eggy or eggio uh, i don't know how you say that but i did review the blue bottle this is a uh, 5 ml solid sample that i have this fragrance it's really unique when I smell it, you know, it's not a fragrance that everybody will fall in love with immediately. It's kind of like something to do with deep seas, you know, like water and kind of like Mediterranean style, like this kind of blue. Definitely try, worthy of trying. This is Egi or Ege uh, from Nishane. So the three that are gone that I have, the three I don't have, I want to mention so bad, they are must have. First one, I, as far as I remember, top of my head, one is Crete's Irolfa. I'll write down the name. That is one of the best ever. Second is mega mare mega mare by i think was the house called uh oh damn i forget the house all the time <laughs> you know mega mare i'll write down the house name and third one i think the final one is bosphorus from the house of nishane so these six are my honorable mentions but i don't have these three okay so let's go hit the main list so first fragrance i have in my list after four minutes of talking is this one this is fan de fendi aqua or fan de fendi uh, many ways people say it it's just beautiful blue juice this is very unique kind of uh, aquatic it got the spices you know a lot of spices on the dry down but in the opening it has this fresh aquatic sea notes it's discounted at this point but still can be had for decent pricing but the prices are going high but uh, this one i'm showing you today very good for summers okay fendi fendi aqua number 15. number 14 is a known face everybody loves this fragrance this is nautica's voyage this is known to be one of the best salty aquatic fresh cucumber that's that sort of a feel less citrus more watery vibes it's like definitely the very basic of aquatic if you want to start at some point this is a must have okay nautica voyage number 14. number 13 i'm going to go with is a fragrance i really love it's more sweet than salty but the c note really keeps me interested this is moschino forever sailing this is also blue juice most of these are blue in nature but there are some uh 
some exceptions, but check out my review on this one. This one I gave very high mark. If you like fragrance like Versace Purong, I really feel this will work with you. Really, really affordable and very nice perfume. Very sweet, very uh, airy. And also, if you take it to the seaside, you'll enjoy this a lot. Moschino Forever Sale, number 13. Number 12, we're going to go with one of my latest purchases. This is <clears throat> David of Cool Water Aquaman. Yeah, I know this fragrance, it's, it's pretty gimmicky and the bottle is pretty nice too. And it's themed on Aquaman, the movie. So many people like this sort of theme. So they do release different kind of, you know, special edition or whatnot. But I'm not saying this is the best flanker of Aqua. Uh, I mean, so Cool Water till date. I prefer Cool Water Intense over this. But uh, Cool Water Intense is so sweet. I cannot think of that as a salty fragrance that much. This one, however, it has that oceanic theme. So just to, you know, respect Aquaman, <laughs> uh, we're going to go with this dude, okay? Aquaman Cool Water by Davidoff. So five are gone, I think. Yeah, no, sorry, four are gone. Number uh, 11. 11 is a tie. Uh, these two fragrances, people do not talk about much anymore these days, but they're both pretty, pretty solid. If you want to go a little bit different, uh, if you like uh, virgin water, this something like both of them are similar, but not uh, clone or something. These two fragrances I'm talking about. Uh, Set Sail St. Bart's, amazing concept, amazing, amazing bottle. Really love this bottle with the palm tree and all. A bit rare to find in Bangladesh, but amazing, sweet, uh, oceanic kind of fragrance set say st birds by uh, tommy bahama another one is english laundry Tahitian water both of them uh, basically the same thing you know like they have differences in smell and i think the Tahitian waters you can have these for a much cheaper price tag than this one for some reason and you can get like a very nice niche present in this is a niche house okay so these are highly recommended by me check them out Tahitian waters by english laundry and set sail st birds by tommy bahama number 11. I'm going a little bit fast because you know I noticed that my videos get too long. People don't really watch it that much, so trying to finish it quickly. Number ten, we're gonna go with a surprise. These are some of the surprising entries. I'm gonna show you Pakuraban One Million Parfum. Uh, why is this here? This is a sweet clubbing, like a one million flanker, right? So what is this doing here? Beautiful bottle once again. Got the sunburst effect. Really, really nice. This is the latest release from this line. Uh, what's good about this fragrance if you never tried it let me tell you one thing the surprising factor about this perfume is this is still sweet okay this fragrance is still sweet but they added some freshness to it something like a salty uh, like a floral kind of a feel so uh, they are trying to make floral more relevant to fragrances you know nowadays so basically when you think of salt it's not really from the sea but it's more like a uh, some sprinkle some salt on top of some florals and some sweet notes. This is a different trend of fragrance. Okay, this needs to get more love. This is underrated for me. This is one million performed by Pakuraba number ten. Number nine, easy. Sean John Unforgivable. Many of my new fragrances made the list. This one I'm so happy. Why this one is here? Because I waited for this perfume for a very long time. So I recently compared this with uh, Ed Hardy's Love and Love. Also, Millicent Imperial, this is a supposedly a clone, but I think this is better than Millicent Imperial in my humble opinion. And also, uh, I have the Armour version, Milestone. But I prefer the smell of this for some reason, more than Ed Hardy, more than the Creed or more than even the Armour, because just because the composition in this is very nice. It has this sort of caviar, champagne, something salty, and it's just so lovely. The opening is very addictive and does last a fair bit. Unforgivable, Sean John, okay? Try, try this one out. Uh, this is really solid. Number nine. Number eight. Another Pakuraban <laughs> surprising entry. This is one million lucky. And this is different kind of salt. This is a gourmand. And this is known as salty popcorn caramel, caramelized popcorn. Sort of something like that that you have in movies and theaters. It has that definitely the fresh. I have a massive 200 ml bottle. Real of these bottles. Let me just spray you once again. Not spray you. Let me spray once again. Okay. This one I really love wearing it all year round. This perfume is so good to wear all year round. Solid performer and the balance between the salt and the fresh notes and that nutty, almost to the point of, uh, if you do love Guerlain Lomidial Cologne, similar sort of nutty, almond, I don't know, hazelnut, something in there, okay? So definitely makes it worthy being in top 10. I really like this. If you like one million line, but you want something different from the line, this is so different from the rest of the line. One million, this is Pakuraban, one million, lucky. Number eight. Number seven is that fragrance I was talking about, Dolce & Gabbana, uh, light blue line. Uh, this is not light blue intense. To your surprise, I prefer this over the intense. This is light blue sun, limited time release. Uh, this is known for the coconut, you know, the added coconut note, more tropical, but they also have a C note, 
okay so c note basically same dna when you smell it it does look yellow okay it does look like a different kind of genre but when you smell it when you smell the perfume you get that similar vibe of the dolce and gamma light blue but it's a lot more pretty it's like a lot more dressed up the peppers are at the background that sweet coconutty feel it's kind of tropical and again by the ocean think of something like a hut you know like a beach hut you're staying in there this is perfect by the beach wearing okay i love this perfume i think it's somewhat i would say uh i don't have beach hut man yeah sorry i don't have beach hut man but if you do like beach hut man this is similar family okay Dolce cabana light blue sun that's number seven i think number six and we hit top five i think yeah top five yeah. after that top five. one two three four five yeah Number six, my latest purchase last month, I bought it, and this is Azaro Chrome Extreme, okay? So here's the thing, I could have put, definitely ahead of this, I could have put the Aqua version, the original Chrome, I could have put many other flankers, okay, trust me. But since I bought this last, let's just show this. The reason for this being here is that beautiful opening. I love the Mandarin, citrusy, aquatic, all those vibes. And it does have that cool watering tans, sort of like Aqua Digio Profondo, if you like those, Mr. Burberry, Indigo. It has that vibe, but that oceanic aqua, again, something to do with water, a bit greenery, and then salty, aquatic. This is so good, guys. If you are asking for longevity, I told you in my video, it's about 8 minutes, no, it's not 8 minutes, it's about 8 out of 10, longevity and projection. It's solid, it's not quite this mode, but it's right up there, okay? So number 6 is Azaro Chrome Extreme, try it out. So now top five, these are uh, based on my preference. Any of these previous fragrances could have made your top five, I understand. But for the day, these are my choices, okay? So I do apologize if I break your heart. Number five is Aqua Digio Profumo. Many of you will be wondering, where, where is Aqua Digio, the king of fresh? Yeah, right, right here. Essenza is good. Essenza more on the floral, okay? But on the salty accords, this feels like one of the fragrances upcoming in the next top four. But Aqua Digio Profume, it has this nice sort of aquatic, oceanic accord, a lot of spices, and then a little bit of patchouli, a little bit of darkness. So what it does for me is, it's not as dark as it looks like from the bottle, but it has really masculine vibe. When I wear it, perhaps not my most favorite perfume, okay? I'll tell you, it can get a little boring at times because it doesn't change so much, very simple, but it has that oceanic vibe. So I always worry thinking of it as a salty aquatic. So try it out, Aqua Digio Profume. <clears throat> Number four. Yes, Dolce Gama Light Blue is back. <laughs> Light Blue Women. Such an underrated perfume and I just want to feature it so high up in the order because of two reasons. I love it so much, so much history. Second is this fragrance is so good. Dolce Gama Light Blue for women is light years ahead in terms of smell than Dolce Gama Light Blue for men. And I'm talking a little bit extra on this one because such a beautiful citrus, lemon, bamboo and then that beautiful aquatic by the sea. It's sort of like Mediterranean once again. Italy, you know, look at the color of the cap. This is a newer fashion bottle. I have a massive 200 ml. It got the citrus, got also got this oranges, everything. Such a tempting and higher the heat is. You know, this is the reason I did not feature Versace Purum today, Versace Menu Fresh, any of those, because this is so good, okay? Dolce Gamma Light Blue for women, the EDT version. Try it out, so lovely. Guys can wear it easily. Number four. So number three, I have... <laughs> The whole line basically here and i'm going to show you one by one i could not leave one over the other this is the bulgari aqua line i have the aqua i have aqua marine i have amara and i also have atlantic right so these perfumes all of them they made the list i'm going to show you the aqua version here this is jack cavalier's masterpiece if you think of deep sea water you know like the marine life something green also at the same time think of people complain about this line as a fishy smell they think like the egg fishy smell because the underwater world if you go by the sea or the pond or the river you will get this this kind of like a green smell you know it feels like fishy rotten smell but that's the smell of salty water by the ocean so i really feel if you are into aquatics this is highly recommended by me so aromatic so green so fresh so watery uh, this one this whole line is a gem of a line okay this perhaps is the weakest in performance will be aqua but in terms of smell they're all amazing but if you really want performer you can go atlantic amara marine great line okay that's number three number two this is uh 
Invictus Legend by Pakoraban. Uh, so high up in the order for many reasons. Simple, non-complicated, blue fragrance with a beastly performance. Got a lot of sweetness, a lot of oceanic accord again. Uh, Invictus, original Invictus had that salt accord. Salt accord to make it more fresh or think of it like ambergris, uh, ambrox and heavy summer perfume. Deviating from original 1 million which is so sweet. But the flankers here, the Invictus Aqua, this one, they're all great. So if you want the best for the summer, Invictus Legend, Beast Mode Performance. And the thing is, you may not feel the salty vibe so much, but on the dry down, it will smell a lot like Hawass, Invictus. So that's, that's when you get that salty, oceanic breeze vibe, okay? So number two is Invictus Legend. Leads me to number one. This fragrance is going to be so boring for many of you. Uh, I would say, try it. You know, this is a hidden gem. Uh, this is a fragrance I would not buy Irolfa for, you know. If I have this, I will never buy Irolfa. If I have this, I may not need Mega Mare, but I might buy it still. But this is Amarud Whetstone, okay. Reason for this to be here, for number one. This got the ambergris. It has the salt of the ocean. It's such an oceanic fragrance. <clears throat> it's such a musky fragrance. It is kind of like a salty watermelon as well. So it reminds me sort of like Melissa Imperial, Think of Silver Mountain Water, Himalaya, at the same time, Irolfa. All those salty, nature, like niche perfumes, this is the big daddy of them all. I just love this so much. You know, like, if you never smelled it, try it. It's so different. I think this one reminds me also of a uh, little bit of Bosphorus or uh, some other niche, uh, like, summer perfume that has that sort of uh, salty breeze, you know, like ambergris. This is the best ambergris based fragrance I have currently. Okay, so this this makes number one. Sorry, a little bit thirsty. Uh, so hot and humid. I don't know why, even after raining. So this is my number one today. Try it out. This is a true niche style perfume. So that's my top 15 salty, fresh perfumes for summer mostly. You can try them out. Do not blind by anything because it's your nose that decides. So sample, sample a lot. Then you decide which one you need a full bottle of. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.